I chose to attempt the advanced option for this challenge and initially I was trying to do it without even looking at the hints so I, I built a lot of macros trying to get this challenge to work but eventually I, I caved and I clicked on the link and I understood where I was going wrong and how um, it's better to use an algorithm rather than just kind of randomly hoping that you'll get an assignment that works. So in order to get it into the round robin kind of structure then you have to kind of assign the first round um, before feeding into the iterative macro. Well, that's how I chose to do it anyway. So we start with our list of names, give them a number, sort them in descending order, give that a number so that we can join them together, our first and last, um, first and last names, and then, you know, second and second last name. And basically all that we want from that is the top three there um, and the way to get that first round assigned is to just filter it saying that the name has to come before the partner's name um, and that's how we get our first round assignments and this will be week one so we just assign a week one to it and we'll just number our pairings and then transpose it into a list rather than um, having the names in two separate columns then let's hop over to our iterative macro so the first bit of our iterative macro we're saying because of how I'm going to structure this macro, I'm going to keep unioning in each week's worth of data. Um, so I'm just going to say, OK, take the maximum week that's available and filter it to just be that week. Obviously, in our input data that we're looking at here, it's always going to be week one. But then we want to add on a week for that and take away some of those other columns. So we're just looking at what week it is and the list of names that we have available to us. We're just going to number those. And because of how a round robin works, you fix the person in the initial slot. So that would be Aaron. And then basically you move Philip down to the bottom and move everyone up, else up one. And the way you would do that is just by some simple filtering and making sure that we're making use of the union where we're um, setting a specific output order. So that's important if you haven't used that before. That's how we're achieving that. So that now you can see Philip's gone down to the bottom, Ben is at the top, top and when I union that back in, we can see the new pairings for week two would be Aaron and Ben, Nisha and Krista and Mandy and Phil. And then um, rather than doing anything complicated, I'm just taking from um, our input step the pairing, so that numbering of each of the pairs and that name partner um, sort of structure and just joining that on the record position so that what we've got coming out of that is our week two pairings all nicely kind of formatted. Um, not a problem there. Now, because it's an iterative macro, we need a condition to check against. So I check the number of people. I say that we will need five in iterations um, and I append that to my table here and filter to say, is the number of iterations equal to the week number? If it is, that's where I'm going to finish off. I get rid of the number of iterations because I don't need that. If not, then I'm going to, again, get rid of that number of iterations, union it to the start data that's coming in and send that background, the iterative lap macro loop. And what comes out of this? I've got slight issues here. I'm not sure why, um, but from our output, oh, if I run this, I don't know why this hasn't run again. That's oh, probably because I was fiddling around in the macro. <laughs> um, then from the output, we get our week five pairings, but for some reason we get them repeated. Uh, a number of times, which I'm not sure why that is. If you do know, please let me know. Um, but from our iteration, we've then just got week one, two, three, and four as well. So we can just group by to make that all distinct and union those two together to get our weeks one to five pairings. Then it's just a case of reshaping our data a little bit and sorting it into the order that is going to match the output. And that's how you do a round robin iterative macro. Now, I've explained that in four minutes and it took me hmm, probably more like, you know, four or five hours to do this. So um, I hope that that's a nice shortcut for you and I hope it all made sense. And thanks very much for watching.